you have decided to set up the entire week in your planner. You set up your planner, you added stickers, you've written down your full to-do list, and now you feel like you're ready to go. The only problem is, is that you don't actually act on any of the things that you have written down. And since you have not been able to do any of the things that you have written down, you believe that you are lazy, you are unmotivated, and you're unable to execute the things that you would like to do. But your body could be in freeze mode. And so in today's video, I wanted to dive into what to do when your body goes into a freeze response and how to use your planner in order to help you to get out of that freeze mode. So let's first define what is the freeze response. The freeze response usually happens when your brain feels disconnected from your body. Simple tasks can feel very overwhelming. You may not text people back. You may end up doom scrolling or watching Netflix. You don't feel like getting out of bed or leaving your house. You don't want to clean. Many times our body could go into freeze mode as a way to protect itself. Our body may not know the difference between actual danger and perceived danger. And so the body can react based on what it believes is going on in the environment around it. It literally feels like your body is frozen and you don't want to do anything. And we can be triggered to go into freeze response because of prolonged stress. You might have just a lot on your plate. You don't know where to start and it can cause you to freeze. But we don't usually get to dictate when our body is going to go into freeze mode or not. It is based on our nervous system. It is our capacity. The body tells you, you don't get to tell the body. But many times when I am working with clients, they just believe that they are not motivated, that they're lazy, that they are unable to do something, or it could be their planning system itself. But really it is none of those things. It is the body in freeze mode and we need to get it out of freeze mode. So. If you are currently experiencing freeze mode, let's talk about a couple of things that I will do in order to help me to get out of freeze mode. The first thing that I will do is usually replan my day. So I love to use the weekly spread in order to set up exactly how I want the entire week to go. However, if I'm experiencing freeze mode, then all of the tasks that I have listed on a particular day can feel very overwhelming and I don't want to move. So what I I like to do is actually replan my day. I will flip over to my daily section and I will look and see how can I readjust this day to basically fit what do I feel like I am able to do. Usually I will remove a majority of my to-do list and I might add on there one possibly two things but I'm gonna keep it very minimal and I will restructure my day around my self-care. Doing some type of daily exercise or going for a walk can pull my body out of freeze mode. So many times I will write in that I'm going to do a 30 minute walk. I usually will have a snack. Sour candy really pulls my body out of freeze mode as well. Something about eating something sour can shock the system and it'll bring me out of freeze mode. So I will add in that I'm going to have a sour snack. I will also do a lot of stretching because that usually helps me as well. But the first part is to replan the day around those physical activities that I need to do in order to help my body get out of freeze mode. So you don't want to fight this process. When we are experiencing some type of emotion, we want to run from that emotion and still get all of our tasks done. But it's better to lean into it and see what do you need in this moment? What does my body need? What do I absolutely have to do this day? And what could I possibly reschedule for another day? I don't have to do it all. And even if I have to do it all, it does not all have to be today. The second thing that I will do to get myself out of freeze mode is flip over to my notes section, which is my brainstorming section, and write down every single thing that is on my mind. Sometimes my body will go into freeze mode because I am overwhelmed. I have so much on my plate and I am feeling a lot of stress and I don't feel like I can get it all done. So I will just freeze and not do anything. So what I will do in order to help me think through that process is turn to a blank sheet of paper with in the notes section of my planner and jot down every single thing that I believe I need to get done and when I need to complete it. Brain dumping, adding all of these things to one really long to-do list helps me to get it out of my head, to put it on paper, and to start thinking logically about these tasks. Many times when all of these tasks are in our head, we have a really, really hard time processing and thinking through how we're going to be able to get it all done because it's all jumbled
bubbled up in our brain. But once we take time to brain dump and to write everything down and to think through when we could possibly complete these tasks, it makes it much, much easier to process when these things are going to get done and actually get them done. And many times, as soon as I write down my brain dump, I instantly feel better. I am out of freeze mode and I am able to start tackling a bunch of the tasks that I have on my list. The third thing that I will do that helps me to get out of freeze mode is I will turn to my weekly planner. I will look at all of the tasks that I have across the entire week and I will look and see if I have any tasks on my to-do list that I can do under two minutes. Sometimes doing a really, really, really simple task, something super small that I had on my to-do list can help me to start to look at the other tasks that are on my list. When you are in freeze mode, it is really, really challenging to just get started. Once you get started, you can kind of get more into a rhythm and a flow and actually just get more things done but initially getting out of bed putting the phone down to stop scrolling or watching Netflix is really challenging to do initially so sometimes I will add something super simple that usually I wouldn't put on a to-do list but I might need this task in order to just help me to get started and it could be as simple as wake up and open up my planner because I know that that is the hardest part. The hardest part is putting down my phone and opening up my planner. And so once I can do that particular task, then I am able to start looking at others that I might be able to build on and complete as well. And I like to do this in several areas. Of course, I do it on my weekly planner because this is my catch-all spot. So I will add in a bunch of different tasks here. But even if I don't feel like I can take on any tasks that are there, there, I will flip to my social media section, which is my dashboard planner. And there I might look at one of the ideas I have. I might just record a short or a reel. It could be something super simple that just kind of helps me to get back on track. And even though it's not my full routine, it may not be the complete morning routine that I would do on a weekly basis, but I will minimize that routine, make it really, really small, make it two or three tasks, something that I can do that gets my body moving and helps me to feel like I can execute. Another thing that I will do is restructure my goals for the week. So back in my weekly hourly planner, a lot of times I will add the different things that I need to do on my sidebar. I will also add my YouTube schedule and I will add in here my goals as well. Like what goals I would like to get done for this entire week. And many times when my body is in freeze, I am constantly thinking about those goals and usually I will feel down that I am not completing those goals. So what I will do is redecide what my goals are going to be for the week. Recognize that I am not in my best productive place. And so let me restructure these goals. Let me think about how I could possibly reorganize these goals so that it is something that I actually can complete. Many times when it comes to goals, we have an all or none mentality. We have a mentality that either I'm going to complete all of these goals or I'm not going to complete any of them. And I am just not good at completing goals, but it's better to restructure. If you know you're not in the best state in order to complete these goals, then it's better to restructure and decide what can you do until you know you're in a better place. And I will do that with my goals, with my routines, with habits I am supposed to do for the day, and even the daily goals itself. This is why I like to restructure my day and think through what exactly I am going to get done that day. So guys, those are the things that I like to do that help helps my body get out of freeze response. And a lot of them are physical, like the stretching, the working out, the sour candies, all of those really do help me. But also in addition to that, writing things down, doing a brain dump, replanning my day helps me to get in the mental place that I need to be to actually start to execute again. But I would love to know in the comments how you get out of your freeze response. If there's anything in particular that you do that helps you, that could help us as well. I hope that this video has helped you and I will see you all in my next one. Until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.